Hello everyone, and this is Glenda Winkleman, and welcome back to Creative Grandma. I'm doing a couple extra Stitch of the Week this week because I have several requests. I had a request for the shell stitch, so wasn't quite sure which shell stitch the person wanted, so I went ahead and just did the row by row shell stitch. So this is stitch number 222, and for this I have three samples. The first one I made using Red Heart Super Saver in the color Zebra. Let me move these out so you can see a little better. This is a black, white, and gray print. Now this is kind of what it would look like if you decided to make a scarf. If you made a wider project, this pattern would change. So that's the fun thing about using these variegated and these yarns because the patterns always change. Very pretty if you're looking for a pattern for a man. Now you can't really see the stitches quite as good, but it's just it's just a unique stitch when you use these type of yarns. So now my second sample is made using the Turqua Blue in Super Saver Red Heart. And you can see not sure if that's showing up pretty bright here. So this is uh, the shell stitches going across the row and when you come back, this is a one row repeat so it's a very easy stitch to do once you learn how to do the double crochet. So you repeat row two for however long you want it. And the third, third sample I have is where I just change colors every row. I use two, two colors but you could change and use however many colors you prefer. This shows up the pattern a little bit better because of the color changes. So for this swatch here, we're going to chain 20. Now I chose to use Red Heart Super Saver in medium purple, and I'm using a size 10J 6 millimeter hook. So if you want to pick whatever yarn you want to use, this is a worsted weight yarn, and whatever size hook you want to use. And if you want to follow along, you can skip to the back of the video and grab the pattern, or you can also email me and I'll be more than happy to send that pattern to you. So go ahead and get your chain 20 ready, and I'll be right back. I have my chain 20 ready. But before we start our row, I did forget to mention that this pattern has a multiple of four. So if you wanted to make a larger swatch or, you know, you wanted to make an afghan, you would just make your chain with a multiple of four. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, etc. Uh, the other thing I wanted to clarify on my videos is when I do the stitch of the week, um, Basically, the stitch of the week is just to show you how to do the stitch pattern. Now, I can suggest Red Heart Super Saver, but you can use whatever yarn you want. And when you make a pattern, like if I say uh, I'm using Red Heart Super Saver and I say this pattern is great for a dishcloth or uh, a sweater, that does not mean you have to use Red Heart Super Saver. Uh, dishcloths usually are made with cotton yarn. You would pick a cotton yarn to make your dishcloth. If you wanted to make a wool sweater, you, you use the appropriate hook to go with whatever yarn you're choosing to use for whatever project you want. So I just wanted to clarify that. I had um, a couple emails where you know people thought, well, I can't make a dishcloth out of that pattern because you used acrylic. No, that's that's not true. This is only to show you how to do the stitch pattern. So use whatever yarn is appropriate for the project that you want to make and use the recommended hook size, which when you look at a yarn label, it will say the recommended hook size right here is an I-9. Yeah, I'm using a 10J, but I do that because I use the bigger hooks so the stitches show up better in my video. So, um... I would probably drop this hook size down if I wanted a more delicate shell stitch pattern. So kind of, you know, you have to be a little creative. I give you the basics, but it's up to you to figure out, you know, what you want to use this stitch pattern for. So, okay, I cleared that up. So let's get on with our swatch. <clears throat> 
we did our chain 20 so we're going to start row one and like I said this is a very easy pattern if you know how to do single and double crochet this is a very very fast pattern to work if you need something in a hurry like an afghan so to start row one we're going to skip the first three chain so you're going to skip one two and three and you're going to work a double crochet chain two and two double crochet all in this fourth chain from hook so yarn over the hook insert it into that fourth chain from hook yarn over the hook pull it through that chain stitch yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops on your hook yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops on the hook <clears throat> so what this creates is you did your first double crochet into that fourth chain from hook so the three chain you skip this is actually this counts as your first double crochet so that's like two double crochet shade there now so the skip three is your first double crochet so that's your second now you're going to chain two yarn over the hook pull it through the loop yarn over the hook pull it through the loop that's your chain two so now you're going to come down and you're going to work two more double crochet all in the same chain right here so yarn over the hook insert it in that same chain yarn over the hook pull it through the chain yarn over the hook pull it through two loops on hook yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops on the hook so this is the first half of your shell stitch and we're starting the second half so now you're going to work one more double crochet in the same chain stitch here so yarn over the hook insert it in that same chain yarn over the hook pull it through that chain yarn over the hook pull it through two loops on your hook yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops so this is your first shell stitch you have your chain three as the first double crochet you worked a double crochet chain two two double crochet all in that fourth chain from hook so now you're going to repeat this pattern across you're going to skip the next three chain so you're going to skip one two three and you're going to go in this fourth chain here so one two three and you're going to work two double crochet chain two two double crochet all in this fourth chain so yarn over the hook you're going to skip one two three you're going to go into that fourth chain yarn over the hook pull it through that chain yarn over the hook pull it through two loops on the hook yarn over the hook pull it through two loops that's your first double crochet so now we're going to do it again yarn over the hook insert it in that chain the same chain yarn over the hook pull it through that same chain yarn over the hook pull it through two loops yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops so there you have your first two double crochet so now we're going to make the center of our shell which is a chain two yarn over the hook pull it through the loop yarn over the hook pull it through the loop that's your chain two so now you're going to work the other half of your shell stitch and you're going to work it in that same chain space so yarn over the hook insert it in that same chain space yarn over the hook pull it through the chain yarn over the hook pull it through two loops yarn over the hook pull it through two loops now we need one more double crochet yarn over the hook insert it in that same chain space yarn over the hook pull it through that stitch yarn over the hook pull it through two loops yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops so this is your shell stitch you have two double crochet chain two and two double crochet very fast very easy pattern 
So we're going to work across. So you're going to do the same thing again. Put your yarn over your hook. You're going to skip one, two, three, and you're going to go in the fourth chain. Yarn over the hook, pull it through that chain. Yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops only. Yarn over the hook and through two loops. That's your first double crochet. So we need another double crochet in the same chain, chain space. So yarn over the hook, insert in that same chain space, yarn over the hook, pull it through that chain. Yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops only. Yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops. So there is your first two double crochet of your next shell. So now we're going to do the chain two. Yarn over the hook, pull it through the loop. Yarn over the hook, pull it through the loop. Now you just made your chain two. So now we need two more double crochet all in that same chain. So you would work it here all in the same chain. Yarn over the hook, insert it in that same chain. Yarn over the hook, pull it through that chain. Yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops only. Yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops. So now we need our last double crochet for this shell stitch. So yarn over the hook, insert it in that same chain space. Yarn over the hook, pull it through the stitch. Yarn over the hook, pull it through two loops only. Yarn over the hook and pull it through two loops. So now, since you know how to do the double crochet, I'm not going to say it step by step, but I'm going to go ahead and work across my row. I'm going to skip three chain, and I'm going to work two double crochet. There's one. two, the chain two, and then two more double crochet all in the same chain. Now we're getting to the end of our work. So when you get to the end of your chain, to the very end, you should have four remaining chain when you get to the end. So you're just going to work the pattern across. You're going to skip the next three and you'll work your last shell in that last chain. So we're going to work two double crochet right in this last chain. So there's one. Two. Now we're going to chain two to make our center of our shell. So one, two, and then we're going to work two more double crochet in that last chain for the last half of our shell stitch. So there's one, and there's two. So each chain that you work in, you should have two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, all in the same chain across. And when you get to the end, it should come out to where you should have four chain remaining. You skip those three and you work your last shell, should come out to work in the last chain. And this is what your little sample piece should look like. You should have a total of five shell stitches across. So now we're going to start the repeat row. Row two, this is a one row repeat, which is so nice because this is a, you don't have to think. Once you start row two, you're going to be working in the chain two spaces of each shell across. So you don't have to count stitches. You just look for the chain two space, which is really nice. You can watch TV and just, you know, after a while, you, you just, just feel for the whole. So we're going to turn our work for row two so go ahead and turn your work you're going to skip this first double crochet here and you're going to slip stitch in this second double crochet so insert your hook 
If you have to turn your work a little to see the tops of the stitches, you can do that. Insert your hook, yarn over the hook, pull it through the stitch, and then pull it through the loop on your hook. You're going to insert your hook into that next chain two space here. You're going to put the yarn over your hook, pull it through that chain two space, and pull it through the loop on the hook. Now that was a slip stitch in the second double crochet, and then you slip stitched across so you could get to where you need to start your row here in row two in that chain two space. So each row you will start the same. Each row will be identical to row two. You will chain three and this chain three is counts as your first double crochet. And the reason you chain three is because it takes you to the height of the stitches that you need to work across the row. So when you begin a row, you will always chain three for that first double crochet. Okay, so the shell stitch, stitch consists of two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. So for this one, you're going to need a double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet to complete the stitch. So make a double crochet in that chain two space, Go from the front to the back right through that chain two space and work a double crochet. You're going to chain two, oh I got a knot in my yarn, I hate that. Okay, now you're going to work two more double crochet in the same chain two space. So there's one, and there's two. And if you look at your work, what you're going to be doing is you will be working your st shell stitches right on top of the shells, right in these chain two spaces. So if you look at my sample here, let me put this down. When, when you look at my sample, you can see that when you're coming across, each shell stitch is worked right in the center of the previous row. So they line right up. Now I will be right back. I have a big knot in my yarn that just come out when I pulled my yarn out. So I'll be right back to continue row two. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I really hate it when you pull your yarn, you get this big blobby knot of yarn that comes out very frustrating okay so we're going to work across our row so to work across the row we're going to do two double crochet chain two two double crochet all in the chain two spaces of each shell across so you should know how to do the double crochet by now so I'm not going to walk you through it I'm just going to show you so we're going to work one double crochet in that chain two space. We're going to work our second double crochet. We are going to chain two for the center of our shell. And then two more double crochet all in that same chain two space. So there's one, and there's two. And if I'm going too fast with row two when I'm working the stitches, you can just backtrack on row one because it's the same stitch if you need to learn how to do the double crochet a little bit better. So go ahead and then each chain two space across, Go ahead and work two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, and I'll be right back at the end of row two, and I will show you how to change colors if you want to do more than one color. I'm at the end of row two on my little swatch, and you can see you should have five shell, and each shell should be right in the center of the previous shell of the previous row. So what I'm going to do now is, if you were working a solid color, 
you would turn your work and do as we did before. You would slip stitch across to your chain two space. So if you want to change colors, what I do is I just fasten off pull that down. I let that hang and I come back when I'm all done with whatever I'm working on and then I weave that into the wrong side of my work. So to join your new color you're going to turn your work. You turn your work with each row and you don't want to start over here because all you would do is have to get your stitches over to the center chain two space so you're always going to start in this first chain two space. Uh, I just let a, a small amount hang. I, I pull that yarn. I got my yarn on the wrong side. Let me move it over here. Okay, insert your hook from front to back in that first chain two space and just let a small amount hang. Pull that new color through. Just pull it right through like that and you should have like a, a loop. Then you're just going to do your chain three. One, two, three. That's your first double crochet. What I usually do is I go ahead and work my stitches right over this little bit here. Now this is too long to let behind your stitches. So what I usually do is I'll work over this end here in the first shell and then I'll let this hang back here. And when I'm done, I pull it up and weave it through on the, on the wrong side of the work. So then I would just complete my first shell. So that would be a double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet. And it, it, if you can see, I'm working my double crochet stitches. I go through the chain two, and I go underneath this, this piece of starting yarn. And you, you can see it's being weaved in behind those stitches. So there, I'm going to work my last double crochet of that first shell. So there's my first shell, which you would chain three, double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. And again, you just worked your stitches over the end. Now, I don't feel that's long enough because I really like mine to be secure. So when I finish this piece or whatever I'm working on, I would take a yarn needle. I would weave this end right up through these stitches and across the top until it was weaved in a lot more than that. And that's how you change your colors. So this is the pattern. This is very simple. And then you're just going to work a shell stitch in the chain two space of each shell across. So that's uh, basically a really simple pattern. Again, I'll show you the sample. This is, let me zoom out a little bit. This is what the shell stitch looks like, and this is the row by row shell. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Stitch of the Week. Uh, give me your thoughts. Let me know how you like the stitch. Uh, if you're a beginner, I know I have a lot of beginners in here, and I'm trying to do some of the simple patterns but I also will be starting to do a little more complicated stitches for the more advanced crocheters. Uh, but even the advanced crocheter sometimes just likes to take a break and do something simple. So enjoy. Uh, thanks for stopping by my channel. And please like, comment, and subscribe. Happy crocheting, everyone.